we would like to know what is the temperature of the trucks for different currents. And as you can see right now, we are running one amp through these trucks. And the temperature here in this place is 44 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm going to increase the current. I'm going to play the video and you will see I'm going to increase the current to 2 amps. So watch how this temperature is going to increase. 43 for 1 amp. Now I'm increasing the current. And the temperature is a little bit higher. Notice this one is a little bit uh, lower because the probe is taking some of the heat away. But uh, notice the numbers. The number here on this DVM is almost exactly the same as this one, uh, which is here. Uh, it means the infrared camera is uh, measuring the temperature quite uh, well. I was very surprised how close these numbers are, like 64, 65, 67, 68, 67, C. Very accurate. I was very, very surprised. Now we are running 3 amps through the track and I moved the uh, point where we read the temperature because you maybe notice the track is not, uh, track doesn't have same temperature everywhere. Here it is like a little bit colder and here it is like really hot, 120 degrees Celsius. Wow. I don't know why here it is a little bit colder and why here it is so hot. I'm going to place the match here and uh, we are going to increase the current again. We are going to first put there 3.5 amp and then 4 amps. I'm going to increase the current 2.866 now you can see it's rising to 3.5 and I need to change the temperature scale because at this moment we are out of the range so I'm changing it to high temperatures okay 170 degrees and this is still accurate, 133, 133, 134, 135, 135. Okay, and let's increase the current again. By the way, I uh, use black color on the PCB because I wanted to, I didn't want to have any reflective surface. Black color was really good for uh, reading, accurate reading uh, by the thermal camera. Now wait for it. Pssh. To finish this video properly, watch the temperature and watch when the uh, track is going to be completely damaged. Over 400 degrees now, it's gone.